The short answer is yes, I will. The longer answer is that we will end the terror, terrorization that now goes on in communities all over this country through ICE raids. We're going to end those. And, we, and I was talking to some of the teachers there, and they were saying, and it makes perfect sense to me, that many of the children who are in the schools are basically traumatized. They're dealing with trauma right now, worrying that when they go home from school, maybe their mom or their dad will have been arrested. That is unacceptable. We cannot have millions of people and children living in that type of fear. That we are going to pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path towards citizenship for 11 million people in this country who are currently undocumented. We are going to, on day one, through an executive order, restore the legal status of the 1.8 million young people in the DACA program. You do that on day one. But we will also establish, will establish a humane asylum process at the border and not have federal agents carrying children from the arms of their mothers. As president, among the many things you could do to start tackling this issue, we'd like to know whether you will institute a moratorium on deportations, which is to temporarily stop deportations, and what is your message for people who are currently undocumented in this country? The answer to the first question is yes. We are going to impose a moratorium on deportations. I am, as some of you know, supportive of a Medicare for all single payer system. And that means that everybody in the country has health care, including the undocumented. Okay. Because when I say I want to make public colleges and universities tuition free, that also includes the undocumented. Now, I hope that as soon as possible, the undocumented will not be undocumented. Uh, that's the goal. So we don't have to deal with that. And again, I want to make this point. Please do not think that Trump's view of immigrants is what a majority of the American people believe. It is a view that some believe. It is not what most Americans believe. Most Americans believe the hard work and understand the hard work of the immigrant community who do some of the hardest work in this country, often getting underpaid, often not having, being exploited, by the way, because they don't have legal protections. I was some years ago, uh, I don't know if all of your questions have this one there, but I went to a community called Immokalee, Florida. Does that mean anything to anybody? Yeah. You know what they do in Immokalee? They grow tomatoes, all right? mostly to undocumented people. And they were real ruthlessly exploited. They weren't getting paid adequately. The housing was atrocious. They had no legal protection. I went there and I worked with some pro-immigrant people, and we managed to raise the wages and get a little bit of dignity for those workers. So uh, to answer your question, uh, this is an issue that is enormously important to me, and we will do everything we can to resolve it. Thank you.